Ukrainian armed forces seize the initiative in the Kharkiv region, Russian attack failed. In the Kharkiv direction, fighting with the enemy continues and the defensive forces are seizing the initiative. Yuri Fedorenko, commander of the Achilles Unmanned Aerial Systems Battalion of the 92nd Ivan Sirko Separate Assault Brigade of Ukraine, said this on air of Kiev 24. To a certain extent, the defense forces are now taking the tactical initiative to their advantage, and I believe in the success and possibility of deoccupation of the Kharkov region, but this requires time and support, he emphasized. According to him, the defense forces, with the support of the Ukrainian nation, having additional weapons that come as part of the assistance of partner countries, are systematically working towards the total destruction of the enemy on the battlefield. Fedorenko notes that for every position that is managed to be deoccupied, a counter-battle from the enemy occurs. According to him, the enemy there is trying to counter-attack with the number of personnel he has in order to regain his position. Therefore, it must be held and measures must be taken for further advancement. The intensity of hostilities in the Kharkov sector is extremely high. Fedorenko notes. According to him, it is also necessary to destroy the enemy on the territory of the Russian Federation, that is, to fight the very source of the problems which the defense forces are effectively doing, both by allowing them to hit Russian territory with certain weapons and by using UAVs. The Russian occupiers identified the Kharkov direction as a priority. Reserves are constantly being pulled there. Deputy Commander of the 3rd Assault Brigade, Maxim Zorin, noted that the soldiers were holding back superior enemy forces in this direction. According to him, the Russians have identified this direction as one of the priorities for the offensive, so they are transferring fresh forces here. He noted that only recently the 3rd Special Brigade has liquidated more than a thousand occupiers. This is an indicative result for assessing the concentration of Russian forces. Part of a house perched on the edge of the Blue Earth River in Minnesota collapsed into waters near the Rapidan Dam. A portion of the house on the property closest to the Rapidan Dam has been undercut enough to have fallen into the river, the Blue Earth County Sheriff's Office said in a statement. Blue Earth County Public Works, Emergency Management and Sheriff's Office are monitoring for downstream impacts. The house belongs to an area family that has operated the Rapidan Dam store for decades. The store has a cafe well known by residents in the area for its pies and hamburgers. It's very close to the house. We had to evacuate this morning, get as much as we could out. All the freezers and such, Jenny Barnes, whose family has owned the home and nearby Rapidan Dam store for more than 50 years, said. It's my childhood. I grew up in the house, I grew up in the dam store. I've been there all my life. Rapid erosion carved the ground below the home, leaving its east side hanging over a cliff before the partial collapse. The dam remains in imminent failure condition, according to county officials, but the threat of a breach has diminished. Sheriff Jeff Wurzel said the water level in a catastrophic event would not be that significant. At least two people are dead after days of severe storms and catastrophic flooding in the upper Midwest inundated homes and forced evacuations. The Rapidan Dam, near the city of Mankato, was in imminent failure condition, the Blue Earth County government said. Assessment and response efforts are underway as the area has seen significant damage and loss of infrastructure and property, authorities said. That's crazy how much stuff is just built up right there. Oh my! That's crazy how much stuff is just built up.